All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching uh, Eminence in Shadow, Season 2, Episode 11. In the last episode, uh, I apologize for missing the episode. I could not react to it that day, uh, but I have watched it since, and it was a good episode. It was funny. Um, in that episode, Sid managed to enter the Royal Palace with thanks to Epsilon. Originally, he was just going to jump the gate, but Epsilon got him in as her little apprentice protege uh, pian pianist. Um, so he broke in, kind of, uh, and managed to go meet with Rose. Obviously, Rose doesn't know that Sid is Shadow. She just thought Sid from her school came and said, what's up? Um, he tried to talk her out of it, and <laughs> for the entire conversation, just chomping on biscuits. It was so random, so funny, though. Like, And the fact that like Rose didn't say anything about it as well was just the comedy in the show. Um, yeah. That happened um, all the while that Sid stole like some kind of artifact, some ring, presumably looked like cursed, um, probably had some like mind control shit on it or something. Afterwards, after that, um, Perv Arsat is like, you're going to marry me, blah, 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 threatened Rose, grabbed her by the neck. He then have, had a kind of talk with Mordred, um, Mr. Mr. Dio himself, who is like one of the round table apparently. And he's like, don't worry, I have the ring in this box that I haven't opened in some time because I'm so sure that it's still in there. And um, yeah, some evil business is going down. It's going to be funny when he figures it out that he doesn't have the ring. Yeah, overall a very good episode and I'm definitely looking forward to this one. So as always guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh, this is, what is this, like a Shadow Garden training facility? I was, I was looking, I was like, what in the League of Evil Villains is this? This looks like some cursed object from JJK. Oh, is this not a... Oh, it's not, okay. Every, I, for a second there, I thought everybody was dressed the same. I thought it was like a... a Shadow Guard in place. Yeah, and the, and also as well, her mother at the end of the episode, like, sleeping with Perv Arsat. She's got to be, like, hypnotized or something. I don't know. I don't think she's doing that of her own free will. Oh, this got that maid that's trying to get with him. So <laughs> Nanda. He's trying to shake his hand free again. Oh, she's getting stronger at gripping his hand now. <laughs> Even Sid shocked. Like, how is she holding on to me? <laughs> oh my god, Epsilon appearing out of nowhere. Yeah! <laughs> oh, Sid. Oh my god. Oh, Sid's playing now? That's funny. You're naked? Interesting. The Black Rose Brotherhood? What the fuck is this? Why are these guys here? So wait, is, isn't the Black Rose some kind of like super weapon? What is it? Wait, is it, he thinks the Black Rose is a flower? <laughs> Fuck's sake, Sid. Ew, get on my face. Yeah, look at Sid and his. <laughs> look at his face. He looks so pissed off. This is such a cool angle. A daytime soap opera. Imagine Rose just looking out the window. Like, what the fuck is Sid doing? <laughs> Yeah? This is how you drop my tea? Where's this draft coming from? Hello? Is it Sid there? Oh, Shadow. Oh, damn. Oh, she thinks she's gonna be killed. <laughs> what truth are you going to show her? 
Have you heard of these flowers called black roses? I'd love to see one. Oh, Jesus. Maybe she isn't, like, drugged or hypnotized or whatever. Maybe she's just a piece of shit. Oh my god, you're making her listen to this? Well... That's fucked. Yikes. That is so fucked up, but damn, she needed to hear this. She's here trying to save her mom and shit. Rise, tyrant. That's what he wants. Oh, she passed out? Damn. Oh, she fell out. Oh, she passed out on her own sick. Oh, no. She needed to see that, but that might have been a little bit too much for her to handle. Oh, this is really, really messed her up. Oh, he's on the piano and shit. What are you doing? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's that song. It's that song when I met Shadow. Oh, don't tell me. Rose. Hey, no fucking way. <laughs> Can you stop stealing pianos? I thought she was, like, hearing the music and she was going to jump off. She's not going to question how Sid got this piano up here? I kind of want her to tell. I kind of want him to tell her that he's Shadow. The illumination from the moon is just right for our world. Oh. Oh, shit. Does she get an inkling? Why did he leave that ring for her? I mean, I guess he's given her the opportunity to deal with the situation. Oh, he lost it. Um, not, never mind, it was accidental. Are we going to get a, a, a towel whipping scene again? Oh, Epsilon. I thought it was the maid or something. 99% <laughs> slime content. It just happened naturally? Uh-huh. At the wedding. <laughs> oh god, Sid. I wanted to slice this dude's head off, like, at the wedding. That'd be awesome. Damn, just killing civilians? Oh, shit. He still hasn't checked on this goddamn ring. Ah, okay. So that's what the ring is. Interesting. Oh, this fucking idiot. <laughs> you haven't had this for like a week. Do you think it's just going to appear? Oh my god. This is some Sid shit right here. <laughs> His hands are shaking. It's literally Sid. His whole plan's just gone to shit. Oh my god. What great timing. Oh god. I can't wait to meet, 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 properly meet this Mordred character. So I guess the Ring of Succession is what they use to control the Black Rose, maybe? Is that is that what I'm getting from this? It's not like something to... Like, hypnotize Rose, I guess. But then, like, wasn't he originally going to put the ring on Rose? So, like... I don't, I don't, I don't... <laughs> He's still looking for it. I don't know what the original plan with the ring was. Oh, yeah, and he's playing the wedding, too. Oh, this is gonna be dramatic as hell. 
He's still looking for it. He's not even looking at her. I do not. Stab him. Kill him. <laughs> her mom's not even listening. Oh, now she is. She was asleep. But you know I don't need it. Oh shit, the ring. It's morphing time. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, damn. Oh shit. My dad left a recording. This is Eren Yeager. <laughs> oh shit, so he's showing the whole kingdom. Good job, king. Damn! Previous king came in clutch. Suck it up to that nobody. Oof. Rest in peace, perv ass hat. Damn, him doing this as well when he still had his, like, mind, mostly. And he still looked and not like a zombie. Yeah, they turned on him real quick. Cue him dropping some pills. As they always do. What? Was that a wig? Oh no, she just snipped some of her hair off. Oh, clap him. Come on. Oh my god, she actually lopped off his head. I was joking. Wait, she looks surprised. Who did that? Is this queen dumb? Are you still asleep? Who the fuck is doing this? Oh, Mordred! Oh! Okay. Oh, damn, look at this dude. Oh, the artifact. Um, Sid, where you at, bro? I was thinking that Mordred might be a player, like, in the future, like, in a big uh, next season or something, but... Shit, Shadow... Shadow might fight this man in, like, the next episode. Oh, this is the Black Rose. Oh, shit. Some, like, weapon in space? What the hell is this? Grand Ruler of the Fourth Realm, Ragnarok. Is it a dragon? What in the goddamn Bakugan is this? Bro, what? I mean, it probably has as much destructive power as, like, uh, Sid on a good day, maybe. Archfiend Ragnarok. What the hell? And here comes Shadow. No way. Oh, wait, it's like a robot? What is it? It's like a cyborg. Huh? <laughs> Wasn't Sid just in that spot? Where did he go? Oh, damn it. Right, so that was The Eminence and Shadow, Season 2, Episode 11. Uh, I believe, actually, the semi-season finale. I forgot to... Confirm that. Uh, yes, it is. Wow. Okay, semi-season finale. Next episode is the finale. Um, and it looks like we're going to get Sid versus Mordred. Um, he's already kind of dismembered the Black Rose slightly. So this this ultimate weapon is probably going to be done in the next episode. Um, but yeah, interesting episode. Pervasa is dead. He actually got his head lopped off, which I'm surprised. I'm surprised about, but I mean, I'm happy for. His, uh, her mother's dead as well. I mean, she's a piece of shit. Doesn't look like she was drugged or anything like that. She's just part of the cult, so fuck her. Um, Mordra's here, Mr. Dio, Dio Man himself. Um, like I said, I thought it was, he was going to be like a a future antagonist like for Sid to deal with, but he may just get handled in this next episode, so I guess we'll see. Overall, a very good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.